Have you ever wanted to change the colors of your VTube model? Well, you're in luck today, as VTube Studio has a feature to do just that. So let's get straight into that. Head on over to your VTube Studio settings and click on your model settings. Then in the model settings, select customize model. In here, you have multiple different options and you will want to select the bottom one, customize multiply slash screen color for art meshes. Select that one. It will give you a warning. Of course, it is a good idea to ask your artist, the artist of your model, whether they are okay with you changing the color scene. And in here, an, a menu will open up for you on the side. This will show all the different art meshes of your model. The amount of them will change between different models, obviously. The names will change. As you can see, we have a, some that have an actual name, some that do not. My model in particular has quite a lot, as each flock of hair is actually a separate layer. So, if you want to see which one co corresponds to which uh, art mesh, you can click on the little eye icon in here and it will flash red. So this is the little separate flock of hair. Click on enable to start changing the colors and then you will get first a multiply option. This will most likely be good enough for you. Of course you can always experiment with the multiply and after that the screen. I'm not, I'm not an artist myself, so I do not know the exact things that multiply and screen have in the exact differences that they have. But as you can see, I have now made that flock of hair green. And if I want to make it the next one, we have our, well, that was a bad exp example, but here. You can see it's the front one right there. We'll select and if we want to copy the exact same color, we can click on paste last multiply color and it will copy it all. Now we have changed the colors and maybe we want to make it a toggle. So we press OK and it will stay that way. Heading on over to our hotkey settings, which is the last option on the right in our settings menu. Then in here, we will create a new hotkey by pressing the plus. Give your hotkey a name. I will name it color change. Hotkey action. And we will see Art mesh, art mesh color preset. Select that one and click on record settings. And this will record whatever art mesh color changes have been made currently. Then give it some key by pressing record and pressing on a key. I will select numpad seven. Now, we have done that. Going back to your original color scene is as simple as going back to your customize. Customize multiply screen color for art meshes. Disable these. And as you can see, when you are going back to enable them, they will give you the default one again. So make sure that you save it as a hotkey before you actually disable. Oops, I forgot to actually save the settings. So let's do that. Click OK. And now if I press 7, the color of my hair will change. But if you want to go above and beyond and make it into a channel point redeem, you can use the Mix It Up app. I will have a link down in the description for a tutorial on how to set up a 
item redeems with that. The same thing will apply for this. I have been Carl Wynn, and I hope you have a fresh day. Bye!